Hi, this is a very quick one today. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Zebra printer. I've had a few problems. Um, mine is the GK420OD, um, and that is the one recommended for raw mail click and drop. Um, the problems I've had is it's skipping labels. So it's printed one, one blank, printed one, one blank. So basically for 10 items, I would have, let's say they're international, so each needs a customs form. I was actually getting uh, 40 labels printing out instead of 20, so it was a lot of waste. There's a very, very simple um, solution to this, and it's calibrating the printer. So this is the printer here, and you see this button here. This is the one that you press to calibrate it. Um, when it's not working, um, you have to have it turned on, so the, this button should be green. You press it, hold it down, this little green light flashes once, then will flash twice, and then that means that it's calibrated and you take your finger off once it's flashed twice. So it will flash once, twice, and then you remove your finger that calibrates the machine so that it will fit the 6x4 labels um, perfectly and it won't keep on skipping labels. Now the other problem I've had, I started printing, I heard this massive grinding sound, opened up my printer and it had split all the labels, they'd all torn all insides, so half of this was just torn off. It, it all actually stuck on the inside underneath here. So um, what I did is what you would normally do is I just removed all the labels, got off all the um, anything that I could that was um, uh, stuck to the sides and just restarted, did it again. What you actually need to do is remove any sticky substance that's actually on, left on the inside of the printer. Now, um, it seems as though the glue on this is oil uh, based. So I actually used Vaseline and that did a perfect job. So I just rubbed the Vaseline into all the sticky parts, um, used a bit of kitchen roll to wipe it off. So make sure there was no sticky parts left. And then once everything was all lovely and clean, I restarted the printer up and it all worked and I haven't had any more split labels since. Obviously, we're using the Royal Mail free labels for this. So um, these are ordered through the website and they're probably not as good quality as, where, as what you'd get elsewhere. So there probably are going to be quite a few split label um, in the future, I expect. So I thought I'd post this little video up to show you how to mend the um, most common problems with this printer. I hope that helped. Uh, if you like the video, please um, subscribe below and like and thank you for watching.